Hey there, Shelly Heinrich, your Southern Plains Regional Communications Manager for the Cotton Board. West Texas producers continue to spray and defoliate their irrigated crops while going ahead and harvesting their dry land acres. Ginners and gin managers are preparing their gins and actually some gins have started rolling in the West Texas area. A special shout out to my friends Junior and Cindy over at Tri-County Gin in Oklahoma. Their producers this week, Adam White, is giving us our this week's crop report. Hope you guys have a safe harvest. My name is Adam White and I'm a farmer down here in southwest Oklahoma and I farm between Chattanooga and Lawton and I'm standing in a field of Dinogro 3555. We sprayed this uh, three days ago and it's probably going to be ready to strip in about two weeks uh, once everything gets fully open. We've been in a drought down here for quite some time and so our yields aren't going to be quite as good as what we thought they were going to be early on when we had the earlier rains in the summer but uh, we're not going to have a disaster of a crop it's not going to be a bumper crop but it'll be uh, kind of a average to below average crop but we look forward to getting this uh, field stripped and uh, carrying on with the rest of our harvest uh, overall the quality of this cotton is going to be uh, pretty good and so we're we're pleased with how it's turned out Hey, I'm Emily Janzik, the Director of Operations for the Cotton Board. I'm here at the AgriCenter International in Memphis, Tennessee, standing in a U.S. Cotton Trust Protocol certified field. This week, I checked in with Nathan Reed from Lee County, Arkansas for the Mid-South Crop Update. I'm Nathan Reed. I farm here in eastern Arkansas, central eastern Arkansas. Uh, we've, we've had a pretty good start picking cotton so far. With all the tropical storms coming through, um, we're, we were, I guess this year has been a little difficult because we had a wet, cold spring and then uh, uh, like a spigot, it, the water turned off in July and August and then uh, it kind of started back raining in September. Uh, so we've had uh, fairly cool, wet weather through September and October here, which was, was not good for the uh, finishing out a cotton crop. I think our yields are going to be down. Uh, a little bit just uh, from the remnants of these tropical storms, but uh, we'll be at, right at average, a little bit below average crop. Uh, we're in, I think, our second week of picking. Uh, we're, we're, we dealt with the remnants of, of the Delta hurricane that moved through last week, and so uh, this is the first day back in the field. Uh, looks like we got a pretty clear forecast from here on out, so hopefully uh, we'll we'll be able to get a get a good 10 15 days in and, and get this crop knocked out right now we're about a third through so uh pray for good uh picking weather and, and hopefully we can we can get done uh in a timely fashion here before before november hits us so hey this is monty bain the southeast regional communications manager for the cotton board and i have you this week's crop update hey y'all i'm clint webb from boston georgia we're down in the very southern part of Georgia, just above the Florida line. In our area, the crop planting season started off with good moisture, but it quickly went to dry. So we got a little bit of skip in the crop as the early stuff came up strong and the later, later planted acres were a little more of a struggle as we waited for moisture. Throughout the summer, we have had adequate moisture, nothing in excess. We have had some brief periods of drought along the way. But what has marked 2020 has been clouds. We've had a lot of cloudy days for the southeast. And as a result of that, we have seen some of our lowest bowl retention, fruit retention, uh, as we've had in the last several years. Uh, because of that, I feel like we've had an average crop, maybe slightly above average as we were going into August, uh, but nothing exceptional. Then as we got into August and September, and now even into early October, we have had some extremely dreary cloudy foggy days as that early cotton has tried to open we are experiencing a very high rate of hard lock a lot of bowl rot um, we have even gone so far now we're starting to see some seed damage in the locks along with that weather we've had quite a delay in harvest peanuts are slow that's slowing down cotton harvest and so we got a lot of acres ready to be sprayed but we're just not able to get there we don't have the manpower uh, but Things are starting to move, the forecast is opening up, and I expect to see a lot of cotton sprayed in the next coming weeks. And of course, following that, the pickers will be rolling. Uh, Southeast will be late finishing up this year, but we are hoping that things 
uh, won't get any worse than they are, and hopefully we'll have a pleasant surprise in the end. Uh, we do are a little bit apprehensive of what grades are going to be due to the weather, but that's out of our control. Uh, hey there, it's Christy Short, your Southwest Regional Communications Manager. It is hot and windy here in Rochester in the rolling plains of Texas. As you can see, cotton is starting to open up behind me in some fields across our area. We are going to check in this week with the Rolling Plains producer down in Roscoe so for your weekly Southwest crop update. This is Mark Rapp from Roscoe, Texas. I'm coming to you with a crop report for our area. We're standing right now in, a, in our Delta Pine test plot field. It's an irrigated field. We put harvest dates on it a week ago. And I'm hoping to, to harvest in about a week or safe, healthy, and a very blessed harvest this season.